Hi, I'm Graham Armstrong, Operations Manager Regional Commander in the North East Region. I live and work in the interface areas around Melbourne and uh, for our first responding crews in the rural urban interface areas, there's some big challenges and issues that uh, we'd like to just refresh you from the package that was provided to you last year and uh, is included now in the Chief Officer's uh, package for 2017-2018. Uh, we need to ensure that first responding crews are aware of the uh, dynamic risk assessment, safe person approach um, in the rural urban interface areas, particularly in the early stages of these firefights where there may not be fire ground management or any other uh, type of structure on the fire ground when the first recruits do respond in. Line defence. A line defence is used when conditions would normally allow for an offensive attack, but you don't have enough resources to mount one in time. It involves stopping the fire from coming close to structures using hose lines or tactical backburning. Ember defence. An ember defence is used when the approaching fire front is too intense to be suppressed by offensive means and there is significant ember attack. It involves extinguishing small fires as and when they occur. When firefighting, you should operate from safe positions behind suitable shielding and pull back to a safer refuge if you need to. Backstop defence. A backstop defence is used when there is no safe defensible space around buildings or if the fire is too extreme to defend structures until the fire front has passed. When firefighting, you should withdraw a short distance to safe refuge. After the fire front has passed, you should move forward to put out any spot fires or structures on fire. CFA has conducted reviews of burnovers and entrapments since 2009. Examining these incidents that occurred around the rural urban interface areas have found that generally our equipment and our training has stood up very well. During these reviews, areas for improvement that CFA has found to involve firstly information availability early in the, in the firefight in the rural urban interface areas. Information generally at that point in time is, is, is pretty poor and that requires improvement to ensure the situational awareness for first responding crews about what this fire is doing and the, and the risk that it poses to crews and to the community. Also, management of the fire ground in the early stages and first response into the uh, rural urban interface areas is generally absent. So, quickly establishing uh, fire ground structures and management of the fire is important to ensure that uh, first responding crews and incoming crews are managed well onto the fire ground and apply the, the appropriate firefighting strategy. So, in summary, first responding crews into rural urban interface areas need to ensure they apply the principles of the safe person approach on dynamic risk assessment that there's early fire ground leadership and management uh, established so further incoming crews can uh, be gathered up and made part of the firefight and also to ensure that uh, you apply the tactics of either ember, line or backstop defence in the rural urban interface areas. So review the doctrine, review the uh, practices that we've um, done from last year and previous years and stay safe, have a great summer. <laughs>